So I'd like to ask you, what is the most amazing thing that you've done in the past six months? In the past six months, I've had the opportunity to participate in a humanitarian mission to Rwanda. Now, Kigali is the city where we went to. It's the capital of Rwanda. And this year celebrates the 20th year of their genocide. And what's amazing about the country is that it's a peace-loving country. People are willing to help each other. The tribal disputes have settled, but there's great need. And the great need stems from there not being a plastic surgeon in the country for the last 20 years. And so this year, we had the opportunity to uh, take care of patients with gunshot wounds to the face that occurred 20 years ago in Rwanda, causing significant deformity of the face, orbital and eye problems, and, and difficulty chewing. We also were able to take care of children with craniofacial deformities, deformities that would be taken care of or, or handled and treated in infancy here in the United States, but children six years, seven years, ten years old walking around with facial deformities. That's pretty amazing that you give back like that, but I have to ask, why Rwanda? Do you have a special tie there that you went there? I actually, this is my second year going to Rwanda. My special tie is when I was a youngster, when I was in my uh, teens, I listened to a lecture by children of war, children that have experienced war in their lifetime. And I'm a veteran of the U.S. Air Force for 25 years. And I have a special heart for war-torn countries, but specifically for the children of war-torn countries. And so I've gone to Afghanistan and actually worked in Afghanistan for seven months taking care of craniofacial deformities in children, uh, children that otherwise would never be taken care of. Well, I commend you for all you've done. And, thank um, you. I want to thank you for the service that you give back to society. Sure, thank you. I appreciate that. So let me ask you, what's the worst thing that's happened to you in your practice? Well, the worst thing that happened in my practice really stems from my experience in Rwanda as well, and that is that um, our waiting rooms are filled with people with significant need. You can imagine 20 years without a plastic surgeon, let alone a facial plastic surgeon. Uh, mothers bringing their children with deformities that cannot be taken be care of. It is very heartbreaking. So some of these children had complete body burns and cicatricial scarring. How did you keep your composure during all this? It's very difficult. I mean, uh, honestly, my faith in God and my support for my family helps me to get through uh, these situations. But there's a pause. You go into it very motivated and very full of energy, but then you leave there with pause and you reflect upon your experience and you realize that you only helped a, a few patients. But those few you've helped makes a big difference. And that's, that's the satisfaction that I get and that's what keeps me going back to Rwanda year after year.